Hey everyone! I'm gonna move the camera a little bit. Sorry, we are late. We've had technical difficulties. It's been quite. <sighs> and we had to let everyone know Riley is making a special hello to everyone. Say hello, Riley. She gets so calm when the camera's on her. Look at her. Why is she here, Sean? It's her birthday. <gasps> Are you one years old today? She's one. Look at her. She doesn't even want to look at me. I she knows she's on that. camera. Look at her. Russ, are you on camera? She is camera shy. Look at her. She's one years old today. One. She's one. Good girl. She's so happy. Girl. Isn't that exciting? She's one. All right. All right. So sorry we are late. Come on, Russ. Get down. Come on. Um, sorry we are late. I kind of figured out some issues. I love Switcher Studio, but everyone has been reaching out to me and saying we're not getting notifications when you're live, which is weird. Um, but then today when I went live from Ken from the car, everyone's like, I got a notification, yay. And I was like, oh my gosh, Switcher Studios is not sending out notifications. Yeah. We use Switcher Studios to go live. It creates a stream, and I don't think it's sending out notifications to most people. So I think we figured it out. I apologize. I know how frustrating it is when we go live and you don't get a notification. So we're not using Switcher Studios right now. Um, so if you got a notification, that we know that that was Good. what it is. Yeah. Um, so, um, so if you did not see uh, Ken from the car today, it was talking about the Cricut flash sale, which is still going on. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it because I have something else exciting to show all of you. But all the links are down below. Um, pretty much everything, not everything, but a lot of stuff's on sale. Mats, blades, rotary blade. Um, there is paper, iron-on, vinyl. It's it's crazy. Accessories like the big toolkits that are normally $49.99 or $24.99. You get additional wow. discounts. So make sure you check out everything in the store. When I did come from the car, I really focused on the paper and the car stock. And then people were like, well, mats are on sale and this is on sale. And I was like, oh my gosh, a whole bunch of stuff is on sale and I didn't know it. So, nice. um, check it out, and uh, yeah, so uh, definitely check it out. But I do want to show you, now I am going to be honest, here it is, a little box. I have already taken half of it out because I can only share half of what Thermal Web sent me. Mm -hmm. The other half has to wait a little bit, which is fine because everything else is in here. Oh yeah, George says, thank you for about the Pattern HTV. That was a surprise to us. Um, someone... Actually, one of uh, Melody's admins for one of her groups reached out and was like, hey, do you know there's Pattern HTV? And I was like, what? And so that was kind of cool. Yeah, it was very Yeah, cool. so I haven't even seen it, but they're beautiful patterns if you haven't seen them. That is not on sale, just so you know. All right. Okay. So when we went to, um, Sean is monitoring questions so if over I'm there. like this, I'm looking at questions. Yeah. Um, so we went to Creativation this year, and what was great about going to Creativation this year is the first year we went was kind of our, you know, um, maiden voyage. So we were getting used to it all, making contacts. And it was great because this year we got to go back and all the same people that were there that we made contacts. So we got to catch up with them. And we went to the Thermal Web and the Thermal Web. It was our first booth. It was our first booth. I love Thermal Web. It is a great crew of people there. They are so amazing, nice. And of course, uh, the lovely Gina Kay is there with her new line that she has coming out. And they were so welcoming, and she had That's me fine. demonstrate stuff. I just, I love them. Um, so if you if you have gone to Creativation and you don't go to Thermal Web, go check them out. Because it is, their booth was beautiful, and they had a whole bunch of stuff. So they told me they were going to send me some stuff, and they did. So I want to show you what they brought me, and then we're going to do a quick demonstration. Um, we uh, have given you all the links of these down below, too. Keep in mind, this is the first wave of their release. They'll have a second wave, which is, uh, I think, the Gina K stuff. Um, I don't know that date, but as soon as I do, I will uh, do a live and show you all the stuff they sent me. I do have the stuff, I just can't, can't show, show it, and I don't know. Show. Yeah. You may have seen it if we did our live, you may have saw a few things. But. Yeah. So let's show you what um, they sent me, and then we talk through it really quick. We're going to tilt the camera down because we're not using Switcher so, Studio. Excuse the uh, shaking his hair. It, it's been a technology um, hard night, let me tell you. But... I mean, it's Riley's birthday, so how exciting is that? All right, so here's my address if you want to send me gifts. No, not a mystery box, though. Oh, yes. Kesha. So Kesha asks, is this a mystery box? This is not. This is their new product release, um, which is in the box. So we're just going to show you what they're releasing, because I'm excited for a lot of it, and then we'll go over it and stuff. So it's not a mystery box, but this is stuff all available to you guys. 
Thank you, Renee. Um, so this is essentially what they're releasing. It is, uh, we're going to talk about everything here and what it does. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is this stuff, and then I'll bring the box back in. So this is purple tape. Um, okay, so everyone was asking me at Creativation, they were like, what is purple tape and why is it everywhere? Because as you walk through the show, everyone had purple tape. Yep, they gave everybody some so they could all figure out what it was and what it, how it yes, was. Yes, and Renee is already on it. Yep. So purple is the new blue. That's I nice. will not lie. As much as I love Thermal Web and iCraft, I craft. I was. I had hesitations. I'm a big blue tape fan, huge blue tape fan. Um, so I had hesitations until I actually got some in my hand, and this stuff is pretty amazing. What the first thing I love about it is blue tape. Even on this, this is very thin. It's just thin paper. Like um, it's a almost like a, a background of party. And normally blue tape, when you would take it off, it rips this paper. So it's strong and durable, but yet it's not going to rip your paper nope. um it's basically what they're calling easy release it's removable tape it does not leave adhesive behind so this is all stuff that i fell in love with because as much as i use blue tape it blue tape at times will rip my um um transfers for um um what chalk couture right. it also sometimes if i'm using it for a card like if i'm going to be doing like using tim holtz distress inks and i'm going to tape down the side sometimes when i remove it it will rip um, yes, this is the stuff I use on my transfers because it, it, it's easy release, removable tape. It doesn't leave an adhesive residue, which is right here. Um, it doesn't tear your paper. So it's ideal for stencils, watercolors, die cuts, electronic cutters. Um, this is awesome for if you're using die cuts. So if you have a metal die that you don't want to move, you can tape this on your paper now, send it through your cuddle bug, your anything, and when you remove it, it's not going to rip your paper. This is huge. It's a game changer, I yeah. think. What, I love it. What I liked about it and what they told us about it is that it may be, it may sound a little expensive for how much you get, but the great thing is, is that this stuff can be used over and it over does it. And I don't know again. how they do this. It's amazing. It, One piece could last you for a long period of time. Well, it doesn't remove, it doesn't tear the paper, but it also doesn't lose its stickiness yeah i don't get it it's magical it's very very reusable. yes it's, it's excellent. totally reusable um and see look at even that so i ripped that it didn't rip this and i still have super is it available for purchase it is everything yes, today is. released today today's the 22nd right yes it is yeah today it's all <laughs> yes 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 in stores today yes so it's at thermal yeah, web all the links thermal are down web. below all right so this i think i said you i saw that you could wipe it off I think yes. if you did write it on, I think you can. I don't know. Yep. What... Yes. So it also, um, what she's talking about is if you have a, like a dry erase marker or something like that, you can wipe it off. You can also draw it on there and use um, water to wipe stuff off if it's water. And it doesn't, once again, it, it's strong stuff. It will tear if you tear it like this, of course. But on its own, if you... I mean, it's strong. I love it. Yeah, good stuff. They had it everywhere, man. Everyone kept on saying, what's that purple tape? Great what's buy. that purple tape? Great buy, great buy, great buy. All right, buy. so it's a must. That was why it was <laughs> my first thing. Um, so if you go down to my links down below, it will literally say purple tape. Or it should. Maybe yeah, I didn't should. do it. It should say purple tape, and it'll Thank take you. you straight to the link. Yep. All right, so they also sent me, because they're super sweet. This has already come out, but I still wanted to share it with all of you, um, because I hadn't bought it yet. This is Gina K's Valentine's Day line. I know that the Valentine's Day is over, but still, it's you could use this stuff, um, especially the hearts and stuff. I love you, XO, for like weddings and valent um, anniversaries and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't give you the links to this because I didn't know it was in the box till I opened it. It was kind of a little, little nice surprise. All right, they released new. It's my my. Oh, that's what's on. What is that yeah. burning? So, slight burning salt. Yeah. So, you guys oh, all goodness. know I love deco foil. So, I did a video a while ago. Um, it wasn't for Thermal Web, but basically when Heidi Swap came out with her, and I love Heidi Swap, but she came out with the laminator, and it was a little bit on the pricey side, and people didn't know they could use their everyday laminator. Um, and you can. So, I did a thing where I did deco foil and five ways you can laminate or four ways you can laminate. Um, but these are their new colors that they have out. So these are six new colors. 
They add vibrant color, shine, and metallic finish to any project used with Decafoil adhesive, which we'll talk about. Um, so this is the one that you can actually use a ton of different ways. You can use it with adhesive, you can use it with the Decafoil um, uh, paste, but you can also print something on a toner printer, run this through, and the toner heats up again and your, your foil sticks with it. So the new colors they have, this is jade, look at that. See, Kristen got that one. The laminator. There you there go. go. So there's Jade. This is Wild Cherry. And I would say it's probably like a, it's more a pink than it is red. Let me see if I can get it up close. I'd almost call it a, almost a maroon. Yeah. Um, so what is toner printing? Uh, you want to explain that? Yeah. So you, a, lot of your, a lot of your uh, laser style printers that print just black and it's a laser style, they have to use a toner, toner cartridge. That is toner, that's a toner printer. So what happens is that as Dino. you're putting that through your uh, laminator, it heats up again, just like the laser heats it up to burn it, to basically melt it on your paper. Heats up and, it's, and your uh, foil sticks to that uh, stickiness of that toner. So that's how that works. So, and I want to clarify, this is a toner printer. So if you have an inkjet printer, which is what most people have, it won't work. You would need a toner printer. So a lot of the... Which is laser most of the time. Yeah, but it's also like when you go to work and stuff and you have a copier machine, they use toner in those. That's kind of... Those will work. It's the toner, like when you take out the cartridges, it's the big cartridges you have to kind of oh, shake that's sometimes. Powder. That's toner powder. So this one is called Silver Shattered Glass. Yeah, and look nice. at that. That's big. Look at the big, big pieces of it. Yeah, oh, and nice. then they have the same thing, and it's in gold. gold. Pretty. Yeah. So, um, Kisha, so she goes, dang, now I need to buy a toner printer. Make sure you go on, on um, Amazon, because a lot of times they're cheap, because they don't make money on the printers. They make money on the toner cartridges. So you can get one usually for, like, like 39 bucks sometimes and here's the deal is my toner cartridge i've had now for two years um yeah we can sean can get that printer yeah let me have fun over there yeah <laughs> so while he's getting that i'm going to show you the other stuff that i'm super excited about so the next thing that they came out with are their stencils now they have six stencils available and i think i got three i picked my favorite three or they sent me three and these are the stencils. Um, now, what's cool about these stencils is, or what they're mostly used for, is that when you use them with the transfer gel, which we'll do tonight. So, essentially, you can put these stencils on any paper. So, cardstock, uh, pattern cardstock. Let's just do one. So, you could technically put it on white cardstock, but let's grab a pattern card stock that has a pattern just so you guys can see how are you getting that printer sean is it good i got it did you get a new disc no this is not a new disc uh our good friend uh laurie Numanik. Numanik. <laughs> do you even know her name uh, yes laurie Noonmaker. 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 Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Lori. Is that um, she says, hey, you got to get these backgrounds. They're about four feet long in a roll, different tiles of wood. So this is just paper. And this way we don't get that shine off my shiny uh, top here and get that glare. So all that glare goes away. So we okay, move roll the piece out and let it run. All right. Here is our toner style printer. It is a laser printer. Basically, like this, this is a brother. It's the HLL two three two zero D. So nothing big. It just paper comes right out here. You just load it up. It's got a cartridge with inside. So basically, that's all it really looks. And this is the brother again. Not expensive. So we might not be able to run this through because unless Sean. It takes a volunteer, but basically you can use these stencils. It takes a volunteer. Or it dries it, but um, you have this transfer gel. So essentially we can use our purple Watch. tape down here. Put a little purple tapey tape up here. Okay. And then if you have like any kind of craft knife or anything. Ours is... You have to tell them the question. because The question people... is, is it wireless? 
This one no. that we bought is not. Um, you can get them wirelessly, wirelessly, but ours was not. We just plug it in and go. So you can use this stencil. I'm gonna get everything off this lid before I. And this is basically their transfer gel. So essentially what I'm doing is using the stencil and it's filling in this transfer gel. You're gonna let the transfer gel set for about an hour. We'll try to speed it up a little bit with our um, heating tool, but essentially we don't wanna heat it up too much because then it will turn into it. Because essentially you want it to be clear and opaque and then you can actually use this with, you're gonna put this over it. Yeah, will you get me my chalk scraper? No, one. I don't want that. That's so sharp. I want my actual one I use with my chalk tour, please. <sighs> he wanted to give me one that I literally cut you my won't hand cut on. Your hand you won't did you hear that guys? You won't cut your hand off if you use it right. Which means it? It? which means it uh, if you don't use it right, Ken, you're gonna cut your hand off. Because no, how many times does Ken not use something right? I'm just saying, Sean. You just said if you use it right, you won't cut your hand off, which is not a good thing for Ken. No, 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 no. What are you talking about? You mean you're squeegee? You oh squeegee. my gosh, Sean, you, you and I like, have communication issues. You said the things that we use. These are the things I use with Chalk Couture, Sean. And the other ones, too. Oh, you guys, you might witness a breakup. I'm just saying. See, look at how nice that is, Sean. That's what I was talking about. Melody got what I was talking about right away. Why didn't you get right away what I was talking uh -huh. about? We've been together almost 19 years. You should know. You should speak Kenny crap by now. Should you not? Yes. We need to go to a counseling appointment. All right. So. So Jennifer is actually actually asking, where did you get this paper? Amazon. Amazon. I can get what? you the link afterwards. I don't remember. What do you? What does it call? Um, Actually, it might say on the other one. That's it right. might say on the other one. Un momento por favor. And it comes in different styles and colors. And blah, blah, blah. Lori shared it with me a long time ago, and then I kind of forgot about it. And then I was like, gosh, I need something because my um, countertop is so shiny. Um, so here we go. There's my purple tape. It didn't rip my paper. Mm -hmm. Tigerberry backdrops. Oh, well, I messed that up, but oh, well. We live and we learn, right? I should have taken it off better. All right. So essentially, Sean has two different things going on right now. I was in my demo, perfect, and now I'm not. Okay, there you go. So now what I could do, I'm going to wait for this to dry. We might air dry it. We might use my commercial air dryer because what will happen nice. is this will turn to kind of like a clear color. And once it's at that point, you could put your sheet over it like so. Run it through. Boop, 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 boop and then you'll be good to go. You will then be able to essentially, um, wherever that, that is, <laughs> is where it will be at. What? Peggy says that she and her husband have been, together, been married for 45 years and he still can't speak Peggy. Well, then I have no hope for Sean. I might as well just go marry a woman because they speak Kenny. All right, so that's the stencils. Um, we're gonna let that dry. Yeah, or I mean, you could probably you I'd have to leave. Yeah, well, that's not a bad thing. Mm. <laughs> all right guys so we're gonna wait a second that while it dries we are gonna talk about the thing that i'm most excited about and i waited till the last to talk about it these and we don't have to wait for these to dry so there's some other things i'm going to show you but these are the clear designer toner sheets okay so the toner sheets are essentially clear as you can see let me take one out let me take one that i really like that i want to run through this one okay so these are toner um acetate sheets so a lot of people would use these for typically shaker cards or a treat basket something that you want to see through so for example here's a shaker card they used it on here's a card that they used it on and so what it is is essentially clear so you can see through it like so but anywhere where it's black there's black toner on it anywhere there's that you can put the um to or you could put the deco foil and it's going to stick to that 
So it's very important though, we have to trim this. Can you, my cutter's out, or it was out, unless, oh, it's right there, Cricket. Right. Can you cut this at six inches? We'll do it right now. What? Oh my goodness, I gave Sean a job and now he's stressed, everyone. So I already have this. Now this is not my laminator of 100% choice. I got it because um, two years ago when I bought it, it was cheap. Six inches? Six inches this way, please. Um, and it is, it's on Amazon, it's nice. Um, I'm gonna be getting the Royal Sovereign, which is the one that actually Thermal Web recommends to use with their toners. Um, it does its job. It's nothing bad against this, it's just not my favorite one. I use the Royal Sovereign. It sucks, I have that one, Caroline. <laughs> I was trying to have tact with it, but <laughs> she just got right to the point. Yes, it's not my favorite by any means. All right, so um, it's Amazon Basic. The Scotch one works be beautifully. Scotch one, if you have the Scotch one, it will work great. Um, I used to have the Scotch one until it broke. I had it for like five years and it finally broke and I decided, oh, this one's cheaper than the Scotch and I'll buy it. And well, sometimes there's a reason why they're cheaper, right? Okay. But I'm going to be buying the Royal Sovereign one next because I do so much now with, um, like, Gina K stuff and all their things. So I just want to, you know, I want to try it out for you peeps and see what it's like. All right. So we cut this down. Now, when you feel this, there's, like, a glossy side and it, you can't feel the toner. And on this one, you can feel the toner on this side. So you really want, you, you want the foil to be on the side that you can feel the toner on because this side here is not going to stick to all right yes if you have the mink it will work too the mink is essentially a uh it is a laminator it's a fancy word for a uh, laminator so we're gonna try this color which is wild cherry and now when you get these just to let you know they're pretty thin so sometimes you'll grab what you think is just one and you actually grabbed L2A and we can actually trim this down just a smidgy because yeah let me turn that down because we don't want to be wasteful good thing I got my paper trimmer right by all right so I'm already heated up I'm ready to go I'm hot, hot. too hot to try all right what happened to my piece did Sean take my piece of paper I think he did. Wait, no, I had. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> wow. I'm losing my mind. So all we need a piece of paper for is uh, we're creating a carrier sheet. So we have to put this in something while it goes through so it can actually be carried through. Because if we were to put it through here, it can ship and all sorts of stuff. Um, so I'm going to put it in the carrier sheet. It doesn't matter how you put it in. Some people will do it this way others will do it the other way and um, i should probably trim that to be a little bit lower but we're fine all right ready it's not even gonna fit maybe i shouldn't have done that but oh well caution hot surface all right so now you should be able to just do it through the one some people depending on your laminator some people will put a cardstock underneath of it to make it hot because up here is where the heater is. So essentially they'll push it that way up on the heater. Um, or you can run it through again if you don't think you got a good transfer. So, um, but I wouldn't take a peek and then do it. And you'll be able to tell because you're going to see the little, like you can see already where it kind of, let me show you up there. See how it's already transferred? So you know it's on there. But if you, if you want to run it through again, we'll just, you know what, for everyone out there, I'll show you what I'm talking about, just so you can know. So if you don't get a good transfer and you're freaking out about it and you're like, oh my gosh, you can put a piece of cardstock like this and then it's going to get it hot, hotter. So like Gina K, when she does hers, even though she doesn't have any problems with it. She'll put it through sometimes twice just to be on the safe side. She's like, well, let's just make sure we got it and put it through. But as long as you're getting it close to your heater, that's what you're looking for uh, is to make sure you're at the heater. But because, you know, Thermal Web doesn't know the settings of your laminator, I always caution to try it out. And if you think you need to be closer to the heater, just put a piece of cardstock underneath your little thing. So... 
Yeah, heat press, don't do a heat press. I wouldn't do easy press on it. It's not good results, and it's, I, I tried it, and I didn't even show it because it was not, it was not a happy result. Okay, so let's show you the, the moment. So, let me see if I can get up close to you that they are pink. It's hard to see with the reflection. Isn't that cool? So now you can use this in a card or something as a shaker card, and because it picks it all up. I mean, look at that. Isn't that an amazing result? I know it's hard to see here. Maybe if I, can you guys see that it's pink? I, on my computer, it looks like you can't see it's pink. It's, I think I can see it. you can see it. Okay. Right. Isn't that beautiful? So just think, and now look, now you just wait. I don't know if I have any toner sheets. Do I? Sure. It's somewhere. Okay. Um, so I don't have a toner sheet right available, but there is toner sheets that they. Where's your Virginia Peso? It would be in there if I had some, right in that top drawer. Yep. Or the next door down. So they have toner sheets, which are basically a whole sheet of the black toner, and you can put this on the black sheet of toner and run this through, and you'll get the black underneath and this on top. Sean doesn't know what he's looking for. Just a moment. Exactly for. I don't think it's in there. Look, I think it's gonna be down here if I have any. There's one. Sean found it. All right, so we can show you what I'm talking about, Pete. All right. So this is a toner sheet. Essentially, it's just a whole... You can get it at Thermal Web, and it's just basically um, where you can run it through and do a transfer. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So if we put this on here on the toner sheet, grab my little sandwich. Sandwich. Put it through my amazing <laughs> laminator that creaks when it goes. It goes. I so need a new laminator. People, I'm telling you what, sometimes it's better to just pay a little extra and get something nicer. Nothing against Amazon. But do you hear it? Yeah, this definitely has, I mean, definitely this has a lot of pressure underneath the kit for the two rollers, but. It has two rollers? Yeah, there's, one's heated and one's not. How'd you know that? I believe. Oh, so now you're just making up stuff? Yeah, pretty much. You don't know that it has two rollers. Who told you it has two rollers? All right. This seems like it'd be the right thing. Okay, so, now look at this. Are you guys ready? Uh-oh, we had to put it through. It wasn't close enough to the heater, Sean. See, good thing I, I caught that, Sean. This is why we test people. Why are a lot of messages being deleted? I don't know. People can... De people can retract a, a statement or a comment unless it's an admin doing it. Which it could be. Oh, that's why. So that's where a person needs to be done. Just don't. Thank you. No need to even pay him anything. Nope, these are for sale, Kathy. So down below, I gave you all, I think instead of saying like, they're actually called um, Decafoil Clear Designer Toner Sheets. And I think I did um, um, the name of the pattern instead of just like one. So they, they should be down below in the description. I'm gonna show you all the patterns here in one quick sec. I just wanna show you what it did and then I'll show you the actual patterns. Oh, uh, I don't think these toner sheets are good because they were pretty old. Yeah, I ruined the toner sheet because it started to transfer and it was because I got these in touch with other things. Oh, that's a bummer. You can kind of see what it would have done if they weren't ruined. Oh, now I'm bummed. I was so excited for you guys. Yeah, these are old. My bad. Oh, well. But that's what it would have done. It started to do it, but maybe it doesn't like the carrier sheet. What kind of carrier sheet are you using? Just a regular carrier sheet, which I've always done, because I'm always afraid if you don't have a carrier sheet, what's going to happen? But I don't see why that would have made it any more of an issue. Maybe it's not getting hot enough, but I think it is. Anyways, 
Uh, yeah, I, that's the only bad thing about the toner sheets. I found out they work really good in the beginning, but if they have, they sit on the shelf and they've sat on the shelf for about a year, they don't work as good. And I don't know why that is, but it should, um, it should be just fine. It should be, but I think once you open them, I don't know. Let me see if it says they have a shelf life. Because I reported that to ThermoWeb and they did say that it, it, it has something to do with once you open them. Yeah, it says that once you open them, you should use them in a timely fashion, I think. Huh. Yeah. I'll bring it back up with them again, but I I, sh I should have caught that before I put it through. Oh, it kind of worked. Not the best, but you can see. See, it's my it's my laminator, too. Hey, Terry. Hi, Terry. So look it, you can do one or the other. Da -da -da -da. All right, so let me show you the patterns. So that's why I always recommend test your laminator because you won't know your laminator settings. All right, so, um, Sean, can you hear me? Oh, I can grab this. So there's this pattern. So this is called splotches. I was gonna say it looked like splotches. Uh, if one of the moderators are in here, they can um, kick him out, you guys. They'll grab him. So look at that. So there's like splotches. That. And then there's this one, which is, this one is called, I don't know the name, they have the skew name. So I'm going to say it's Stripey or Stripe. Oh, it's right there, Pinstripe. Pinstripe. So this one was actually not Splotches. Let me rephrase. So that's Ken's made up name. This is Splatter. Splats. Not Splats, Splatter. Splatter. You can't make up names like I do. So this is Pinstripe. Okay, this one is called Doodles. Look at that. Love it. Okay, this one is called Distressed Lines. Mm, neat. So basically everywhere you're seeing black is what, now you wouldn't have to if you like the black and let's say you're doing like this on yellow, that looks gorgeous. You can leave it like that, but you could do it as a toner printer and stuff now these don't have to be printed on obviously these here are already with printed toner so it's easy to go through this one is called branching out but what's cool about this is you can match it to your project so they have tons and tons and tons of uh different uh foil colors i just showed you the foil colors oh, i showed terry made one with the distress lines that's cool so the things that i was showing you is just their new deco foils so there's the polka dots. Is that three polka dots in a row? Yeah. No, that's just because there's three toner oh, sheets. Three so I can line it up so that doesn't bug Sean. Right. This one is arrows. So it went by so fast I didn't see it. This one is the one we did. It's called Groovy. And then there's this. So Sean, what do we do with this one? That, you can print your own oh. stuff. So if you have a toner printer, what Sean showed you earlier, and you have that, you can print your own pattern on the clear ones. So they basically gave you a clear... Or your name. In your a name. Or you could do... You could um, do a sentiment. So you could do a sentiment here and print it on the toner, and it's clear. So this is really cool because I love printing my own stuff. Like, you can actually go into a Cricut Design Space, Silhouette Cameo, all that stuff and print anything in toner and then run it through. But normally you won't have the clear background, which now you do. So you can do your own, yep, Chocoteur logo, anything like that. Um, we didn't demo the printer, uh, Jude. We actually just showed what it was. It was it's a toner printer. I'll have Sean bring it up in a second. Somebody wants um, to see that again. They wanted to see that again. See what? That toner print, uh, the, the paper. What? Oh, this? Okay, they wanted to see that. Here's the toner paper. This is the peel and stick, so it's a little bit thicker. Um, but it's basically, you you can, um, I, I, I someone asked, well, why not just print a whole toner page yourself? That's a lot of toner. Number one, it's a lot of toner. Number two, if you have any little scratches in it or it misses a spot, it's not going to equal. Toner equals laser, yes. Yes. And then that's just the toner sheet. I basically, 
took this. So here is what we did with um, the pink. So that's pink oil on that. And then you have the negative and you can take it on a toner sheet and do that. So yeah, so that is the toner sheets. So let's go back to my stencil. So what we- is, is, Tiny was wondering, is this stuff available anywhere? I don't, I don't know to be honest. Um, I always get it online. Straight toner. Um, I know you can add another p color to the pink. Yep. Sure. Yeah, you can. We'll have to do that here after I show this. Um, so let's show you how this is. Sean was able to go clean this for me because he's such a sweetheart. Clean it? You mean dry it? Or dry it. There's a couple wet spots that I... Well, hopefully it works. So we're going to use... So now see how see how that stencil was white and now it's it's dry, but you can see it's kind of got a translucent in it. It's a little sticky. Now we can put our foil onto this, okay? And then my little carrier sheet, which I keep losing. And then I blame you, and then it's not you, and then I feel bad. Do you have it? What are you looking for? The white piece of paper that was my carrier sheet. Uh, no. Well, I I've lost my ever love in mind. Is it in this? Oh, found it, Sean. It wasn't your fault again. <laughs> What do they agree with? They all agree that it would be great to have a day of crafting with you or Melody at their house. I might even use a carrier sheet. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need something under it. Can you get me a piece of cardstock? I'll use a carrier sheet because it's recommended, but look at that. It barely even fits in my carrier sheet. Okay, we're gonna send this through. I'm gonna show you the magic and you're all gonna go, ooh, uh -huh. ah. We love thermal web. They sent me some more stuff. I'll show you in one sec. But we can't, in about a week, I can show you the other stuff, I think. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know when I can show you the other stuff. I lied to you. I hope it's a week because I love it. If you guys haven't seen the new stuff, it is um, Gina K. She's always had amazing stuff. Oh, that's a great question, Betsy. I should have explained that to everyone. So a carrier sheet is what um, you normally would put smaller pieces in. So big pieces like this, uh-oh, yeah, we is have a situation, Sean. I got it. Don't worry. This is what happens when you, th you think you use this stupid laminator. Okay, so when you have smaller pieces, normally you can't put them through your laminator because they're going to get, obviously, they can't be carried through. So if you do a carrier sheet by folding it in half, like a piece of paper, you can put your smaller pieces in there and it will carry it through to your laminator. Um, I can't stress enough. I'm going to run this through again without my carrier sheet because I'm afraid we didn't get a good transfer because my laminator, like I said, is not the best. I do not, as Kara said, very, very, uh, very was, she does not recommend it. Neither do I. It's not a good laminator. I would recommend doing the, uh, Royal, <laughs> what? Let me just break that thing for you. Why are you going to break it? Not me. Somebody else said that. Oh, it'll break itself. I don't think you need to do anything. Yeah. Time, time to get it was $14. Oh, there you Wasn't go. that a good buy? <laughs> $14. Need uh, Definitely need the Royal Sovereign. Yeah, we need to. So, um, anyways, you can use this transfer gel on anything. I mean, obviously, yeah, I heard the mink laminator is awesome. And I kick myself, Jude, because it went on clearance at, um, I think, Joann's for like $49. And I was like, oh, I have my Amazon laminator. What? Sean, why don't you talk sense into me? Because you never pay attention to me. The Scotch laminator works great. I'm not going to say it doesn't. We had that one before we got this gem. <laughs> Hopefully Amazon never watches our videos and be like, well, we're never going to work with him. <laughs> <laughs> Try Tuesday morning. I know, right? I am not a patient person, people. You have no idea. All right. So here it comes. So you can use this transfer gel on a wide variety of stuff. But if you use it with the stencils. Dun, 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 dun. Isn't that so cool? That's where Ken, look at that. It even shows you where Ken messed up. Remember when I, when I was taking it out and it said, oh, it's smeared. That's how good that is. That's where it's smeared. It even, Sean dried it smeared and it picked that up. 
So you can see, look at that beautiful, let me see if I can get the sparkle for you. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Are you getting sick? Is it making any wavy sick? Didn't somebody like also kind of like write, almost handwrite with it? Like yes. That? So someone, they have this. Let me show you. Sean, un momento. You, you, your thought will be my I will be happy to show you, Sean. All right. Uh-oh. Hold, please. Do you know where it's at? Hold. I said hold, please. I'm holding. Why are you so... Why are you put... Oh, wait. Hold, please. Hold. We're holding. Okay. You don't need to say it that way. You need to be nice. Okay, Sean. Melody has the glue pen. Here you go. This is it? You need to simmer down. Okay. I wanted to show him something else, but now you're rushing me. I'm not rushing anybody. What's... You can show him that. So that's the pen. And then this is the same stuff as this, but it's liquid. So it's... it's see? So it's the same idea. The problem with the... Um, yeah, you, you called Gina K. Oh, you called Gina K. Books. I was like, you just called Gina K. Wow. Um, all right, so I'm going to show you one other thing that I got. I literally have to finish all of my other stuff, everyone. So here's the other thing I love about that you guys don't know. Well, maybe some of you know. So these sheets work basically with anything adhesive, right? So if you have foam stickers, so this is just a, a foam. Right? So I'm just putting my foam sticker on there. Ta-da! So anything that's kind of has adhesive, it's going to pick up, it's going to pick up your foil. So you can use it on like, um, if you go to Michael's or Joann's and they have like, you know how they have kids foam? Like, in, like to build foam stuff. Um, and they have all the different colors like red, orange, and you, it, some of them has adhesive on both sides so they, they can stick it together. It works great with that stuff, but a lot of people don't know. It's basically anything that has the adhesive. So you can use it with anything that like the reason this stuff works is it dries, but it never loses a little bit of tack and that little bit of tack, basically the glue's heating up through the laminator and sticking to this. Okay. What? It's ready. What am I doing with this, Sean? Right with it, and then we can let it dry. And run oh through. my gosh! Sean is so excited about this. This is what we saw last year, mm -hmm. and he his mind was blown when he saw that. So yeah, essentially, it allows you to like. There's his name. So he's get, he is so excited to go draw this, you guys. He'll be right back. I'll buy right back. <laughs> yep that's a great idea lisa so if you um have double-sided like sheets you can buy double-sided uh tape like sheets and you can die cut with them so if you get like a butterfly or a circle whatever run that through like a cuddle bug or whatever you have a gemini or whatever it will actually cut it and then you can have it on both sides and then you can put one side the sticky side so for example Let's just show you. Tonight's all about learning with Kang. So you have this, right? We're, we're doing this, and now we have the sticky side, right? Wah! And then you take the other side, right? Okay, you following me? And then that goes on your project. Ta-da! It would, Beverly. So Zyron works great with this. Let's show you, Beverly. Tonight's all about showing. You just wait. You wait to be wowed. Un momento. All right. We're here answering questions. All right, so we have my little Zyron machine, right? Okay, we'll just rip a little piece off. Okay, put it through. So the key to Zyron, because it will work, you have to make sure, remember, Zyron is rub and peel technology. So you got to rub it. Sean, you got to rub it. Rub it Make rub sure it, rub you it. get it. Here's a problem. The only problem I see with Siren. 
What do people do? They get super excited. I made a sticker. I'm so excited. And they go, woo! And they rip this off really fast. If you do that, some of your adhesive comes up with this sheet here. So you have to go slow. Slow and patience is the game, people. Because you want to make sure. And you'll see when the adhesive is... See, this didn't, my rubbing technology didn't... Oh, yeah, it did. Sorry. <laughs> so you want to make sure all that adhesive stays down. Okay. Hey, Sean, we're in the middle of a tutorial. So there's all my adhesive, right? Can you see the adhesive on there, Sean? See how it's got adhesive? No, wait. Wait, Sean. We're going to put that down. Okay, Sean, are you ready? Ta-da! Dun-da-da-da. Dun-da-da-da. So uh, this is why I love Thermal Web because they have, well, and this this division of their product is called um, iCraft, but it's because you have all of these cool things. Um, what other end? Okay. Sean, I don't know if this is going to work. We'll try it. What? I don't know. I was getting this oh. back up again. So you can see all the cool stuff you can do with this stuff. Let's send it through my award-winning laminator, everyone. So you can use it with adhesive. You can use it with your Xyron. You can use it with foam stickers. You can use it with all sorts of stuff, okay? Okay? So we showed you, we showed you the clear designer toner sheets, which is this. It. You can just press it, yep. Um, I showed you the purple tape. I showed you the designer stencils and then the new color. So that's their initial. They also sent me some other stuff. Let's see what they sent me. I don't know what this stuff is. Uh-oh. Ooh, I can talk to you about these really quick because these are cool stuff. And this stuff you can technically use with an easy press. Yes, you can, Shawnee. I'll show you. Nice. Okay, you ready? <gasps> oh, they don't see it. I'll wait to show them the reveal. We don't. The rest of it doesn't have to heat up. Well, there's the reveal. <laughs> I just stuck. Uh oh. Oh, sorry, Sean. See? You can't. Well, Jude, that's a spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. So Gina K's new line is doing exactly that. It's foiling with stamps. So um, when she releases that, um, they did send me that product. I just can't technically launch it until they tell me when it's ready. So I don't know that launch date, but as soon as you can, yes, you can do this with stamps. Look at that. Nice. All right. So the other stuff they sent me that I'll quickly talk about. Tips to use with the Easy Press. This, this is parchment paper. So parchment paper is just that. It's basically, um, you can use this for a protective coating in your laminator or even with your iron. So this is basically like when I use my chalk couture, I always tell people I have to put a piece of parchment paper in between my chalk couture ink and my heating, whatever it be, easy press or iron. So essentially this is um, what their version is. This is awesome. So this is their whole hot melt adhesive. And a lot of times people will take thermal web, like so, and put it on pillows or fabric or a shirt, anything like that. And they're using it with the hot adhesive. So you're using it with deco foil transfer sheets to quickly and easily add a foil finish to your project. And you can see in these that they're adding it into a pillow. Where is the pillow? There is the, where is the camera on this, right Sean? Here. So pillow, you have it on graphics, cards. So it's another way for you to add foil to any project. And I've never used this. What is this? Sean, what is this? I don't know. Five jumbo sheets. So this is, I've never used this, so this is new. This is called, a, it is pressing paper. For fabrics and crafts, let's read what it does. So basically, it's a, is that your... Pressing paper is designed to protect not only projects, but also work surfaces do not use with steam. 
Pressing paper is formulated with special coating, shiny side on the side to provide a non-stick surface, and it's reusable. Huh. So they're just, um... It's pressing paper. Pressing paper. It's essentially cut down, um, I think kind of... It's not Teflon or anything. No, it's not, and it's not parchment, but it feels like parchment, but it's, um, transparent, so you can see kind of through it. See? Here, give it Okay. Can you help me, Sean? Yeah. I'm having issues. And there's, oh, they're jumbo. I see. Look at that. They're big. They're basically big parchment paper, essentially. With a non-stick side. With a non-stick side. Sweet. There you go, peeps. We're learning together. Yeah. What? I don't like putting things back in those packages. Well, That's why I didn't want to take it out. Do you know how hard this is, Sean? Yep. See, yeah, this is, no, I'm done. I'm already done with it. I can't do it. All right. So pretty nifty stuff, right? So in conclusion, what did we learn today? Well, we learned we're going to get the Royal Sovereign. Yeah. But let's quickly show you all the releases again so you know. Release one was all these new beautiful colors. I really like this nice. Here, I enjoy The bigger chip is so cool. Look at that. A graphic. So you can technically use this as heat transfer vinyl with this. So you know how people normally buy heat transfer vinyl to put on, on t-shirts and stuff? Well, if you like a deco foil and you want to put it on a t-shirt or a pillow, that's where the, um, the hot melt adhesive comes into play. You can, there's people that will put the deco foil onto shirts and pillows and things like that. Normally you would have to buy specialty heat transfer iron on that already has that built in, but not with this. You're dying to see what I'm up to? Like, all right, okay. so here is all of your new colors. We'll quickly show you this again, because Sean's reminding me we're almost at our limit. All right. So you have the gold chip. There it is. You have the denim. The plum. The wash and wear, that's a good question on that, is typical for any other heat transfer vinyl project or iron-on. You want to make sure that you um, wash uh, inside out. You want to make sure that you don't dry it. You uh, hang to dry. And... Uh, as long as you follow those rules, I've never had issue with it. You do cool tumble dry too. Cool tumble dry, but no, you can't dry at all. I do hang to dry. I never dry I mean, my you can stuff. Hang one that has no heat. It's just, yeah. it's just air. So, yeah, I can add that to my list. Absolutely, I'll do a make it now with this stuff. So there's that one. So that's the new foil colors. We have my favorite purple tape, which you guys have seen me use in multiple videos now. So I use this with my. Chocotour. I use it with taping down projects. Now I I cannot. Once you get this in your hand, you'll see why you will love it. It's awesome stuff. Reusable. Reusable. We have um, Sean moved them. That's okay. I can grab them over here. We have the stencils, which are. This is the cut piece. Where's my stencils, Sean? Which one? My stencils. Huh. Did well. Not over here. Oh, they're right here. So we have the stencils, which is what made the line. So this is where you can use the transfer gel with the stencils. And they have, I think, new six, I think they have six designs of stencils. Let me see. Yes, they have six designs. I have the three here. One is, uh, we have to wash because it has glue all over it. And then these are what I, they're all my favorite stuff, but I love these. And they have on um, this stuff, this is the toner sheets. And these are available in nine plus the print your own. So, what questions do you guys have? We're going to turn you back up. Hold on. If you get sick, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, people. Hold on. Oh, look at all this stuff. All my stuff is open. So, there you go. That's release one. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can't tell you when, but I can show you quickly. I don't even know if I can show you quickly. I might get in trouble, but... I don't know when it's coming out, but just flash it. Flash, we got it. That's all you get. That's all you get. But I can tell you, I'm super excited about it. Cause I was, I seriously was telling Sean when we were walking up to the Thermal Web booth, I said the Gina K release, in my opinion, was very cool. It was, 
even though it was something that has been on the market before, the way Gina presented it was a new way, and I was like, I don't know how she's going to top it, or how is she get, what is she going to release besides more designs? Then we walked up and saw what she was releasing, and we're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Somebody's watching us on the big TV. Do you want to know what? Kisha's sister turned us into a GIF. <laughs> we're a GIF. Uh, I'm not even kidding. I'll have to show you on the phone. It's pretty, pretty funny. Cute. So... Um, Sean's face is always red. Right. I was born with a red face. Doesn't go away. You know what? It's okay. Lady Gaga says you were born that way, and it's all good. Yes. Now, what does Lady Gaga have that we learned in our last video together? Little monsters. I couldn't remember her name. Her just it just blanked on it. <laughs> Sean literally could not remember her name, and he kept saying, "You know, you know who I'm talking about. You know." And then all of a sudden, I'm in the middle of doing a project, <laughs> the one with little monsters. I was like, <laughs> oh my God. "Well, we were talking about." Those who sing the national anthem. Somebody said she did a rendition that was actually frozen. Who forgets Lady Gaga's name? I did. What gay man forgets Lady Gaga's name? I did. Oh my gosh. And then the way he remembers her, you know, the one that has little monster. <laughs> I can't. It just happened. It's a brain fart. <laughs> it's so funny. So anyways. Do I work uh, outside? No. I work indoors. He was just red. I'm he just, just red. gets a red face. I don't know. He, if he's I'm embarrassed, born with, born with a red face. I if he's embarrassed, like if I embarrass him, really he gets red. really red. Which I don't ever embarrass. I think living okay. living with me as long as he's lived with me, I don't think he gets embarrassed anymore. But in the beginning of our relationship, oh, he cool job, he would get embarrassed all the time because I would put him on the spot and stuff like that. Uh, Jennifer, I don't know how to share the GIF with you. So her sister basically took the video where Sean interrupted Ken in the car. It's not called Ken and Sean in the car. It's called Ken in the car. Was oh, that the one she used? And she used a clip from that, and it's a pretty cute clip. <laughs> but it's seriously not called Ken and Sean in the car. But just like today, he had to show up in his own little way. Yeah. So, oh, I'm sorry you're sick. That's no fun. So did you guys have any questions on this new... Now, remember, this is ThermoWeb's first release. And now that I have it, I'll be doing some um, new projects with it. Um, but the second release, I don't know the date. Um, but as soon as it comes out, I'll, just like today, this release today. So as soon as the day that it comes out, I can do an unboxing with you guys. <laughs> Which I love that stuff. Most people don't know what Ken in the car is until they actually see one. The purple tape is a must. Yep. The purple. If, if I had to say you could only buy one thing... That'd be hard because I really like the clear designer toner, toner sheets, but the purple tape, I love. I love the purple tape. So they were giving away, let me see if I can find it, just a sec. No, they were giving away little tiny, tiny rolls of this stuff at there. So I loved it so much I went and got like 10 of them and put them in my backpack. Well, the lady who's in charge of Thermal oh, Web. She's wonderful. Julie, she's so awesome. Julie or Julia? I think it's Julia. Julia. You're right. I apologize. She's I always probably, see Julie. She's probably watching. But. She likes to watch. So, on the last day, she was like, um, how many of those do you have? And I was like, well, if I get 10 of them, I'll make one roll. And then she gave me one roll. Yes. It was like the only roll she had. Because <laughs> I loved it. Yep. I was good. I was about ready to steal it from everyone's, um, everyone's booth. Because I loved it that much. So you buy all, I gave you all the links down at the, down below, but if you just go to thermoweb.com, um, you'll go to their website and it will take you to the customer site because they do have a, a customer and a business site. Go to the consumer site and then all the products are there. Um, but there's a, um, the, the links are down below that tell you exactly, or in the description where that is in the video, of it will tell you all everything I've listed out, everything new for you. But their website's awesome. They're the ones that also have heat and bond. So for those of you who are sewers and have ever used heat and bond where you can actually take two pieces of fabric and bond them together without sewing, that's their product too. Yeah. The heat do you and have bond. A discount code for them? I do not. Yeah, um, I don't think they give one away. Do they, they don't. I don't yeah. think they do a discount code. T I think twice a year. Um, so I don't actually have a code for them. I don't think anyone has a code for them, and, and unless that's what they do it. So. <laughs> I know, right? That, once again, we'll finish with, if you have not checked out the Cricut Flash Sale, I do not know when it's ending, but it is so worth it. The link is down below. There are so many different things on sale um, at half off. 
it's a must. So, and I know that they do a lot of sales, but this one, I thought it was just paper, but it's a lot more. It's blades and scoring and iron on and vinyl and tons of stuff. So, somebody else, what's the best heat? What's a good heating tool for your embossing? Anyone? Anyway, yeah. All good. I, it's going to be obviously hot enough. Yeah. For one. I, Your um, yeah, and I've heard that Tim Holtz's uh, craft dryer isn't for embossing. It is or is not? It's not, yeah, which it's I was kind of... So I have the Fun Stampers Journey heating tool, but I've also used... There is a purple one on Amazon, and it was really good. I wasn't too big on the Doris one, but that was just me personally. So I know the bag is out of stock. I have Stampin' Up! one and love it. Yeah, I know that people that have their Stampin' Up! one or even the Close to My... No, Close to My Heart doesn't have one. Stampin' Up! has one. They love theirs. And I love my Fun Stampers Journey. Um, I love that one. So that's the one I use all the time. Robin was asking, why is, there, why is Cricut having so many sales? Um, yeah, they love us. I, I personally think um, usually when they do big sales, it's either A, because they need to get through inventory, or B, um, I personally think they're on a schedule. That's just what I think. I don't, I'm not saying this is proven or anything, but it seems like if you follow their sales, it seems like they fall in line. Like they had like the cuddle bug sale and then a week later they had this and it's like, gosh, I remember this sale being after that sale. So I wonder if it's like on a, you know how like yeah. Costco sometimes does that and other people do like, well, we know Hobby Lobby does this. Like if you follow theirs, they're on a schedule of when their sales are. And I think Cricut does the same thing. I haven't proved it. I haven't paid close enough attention, but to me it feels like it follows some sort of pattern. And I think we're on that pattern. Yeah, cartridge. There's yeah, there's six ninety nine cartridges. Really good cartridges sale. Um, and I think that one, they haven't announced this either, so this is just me assuming. But I think that's because they're no longer doing physical cartridges. They're just going to be doing digital cartridges. So the cartridges they have left in stock, I think they're yeah, get rid of them. getting rid of them. And didn't and didn't the uh, cartridge reader? It came out. came out. The link tool. Which yeah. a lot of people are like, what is this? And I was like, it's a link tool. But if you didn't know the old school cartridge, so Cricut, old school Cricut used to have cartridges. They still do, but they're getting rid of the inventory. And the machine, you would plug it into your machine and either use it or link it through the machine. The Cricut maker doesn't have a place for cartridges. Mm -hmm. So if you bought the maker, and let's say you go to Goodwill, and you say, oh, there's a Cricut cartridge there, bring it home, you have no way to link that. They released a new little adapter that you can actually plug into the adapter, plug the other end into your computer, and link it to Design Space. Wow, Renee. I still have my old school Cricut and a whole box of cartridges. I get rid of all my old school. I just have yep. the Explorers, so. Um, we just had an Easy Press video release. Mm -hmm. It's our review video, and it goes over tips and goes over some great information. Um, I haven't announced this yet, but if you have not seen that video, and read the description below. That's the key point. A lot of people aren't reading the description below. You can enter to win in uh, Easy Press. So I'm hosting it on my blog. If you watch my video, you're, one, you're a YouTube subscriber. I'm doing two, but the no first initial one will be this month. The next one will be next month. Um, all you have to do is go to my blog, creativeken.com, read the Easy Press review. At the bottom of the review, there's a place for you to enter and to win a Easy Press. Ooh, Annette, I personally would buy a cuddle bug, but that's just me. I love my cuddle bug. I love metal dyes, though, and I yeah. use them all the time. Yeah, so for do. me, that's a given. Um, but, but if you're low on paper, uh, that's a hard one because this paper is such a good price. Like, they only do 60%. The cuddle bug on sale? It, the cuddle bug was on sale. It oh, was wow. two weeks ago oh. or a week ago. Um, but... Um, the paper is such a good, like, the, the scrapbook paper is like $3.20. Wow. Before any discounts. That's wonderful. You can tell when Sean's not interested in something. Like, no, he was no, interested no. in this, but now that we're talking about cricket sale, he's like, mmm, wonderful, great. Because he knows that I bought stuff, and a That's box okay. will be showing up. That's fine. Yes. All right, any last minute questions, guys, before we say adieu? Adieu, so I can go make dinner. How do buy our benefit benefits disadvantages? Uh, Tiffany, um, so the big advantages obviously with the Gemini is it plugs in, so it does all the pressing for you, you don't have to crank it, you don't have to push it through, um, it's a, a narrower, so you can only do thin metal dies through it, you cannot do the big, like, Tim Holtz, um, roll dies, yeah, you can't do steel rule dies in it, you can only do thin metal dies, um, it's, uh, the Gemini is great because it does a wide variety of paper, um, a ton of different materials. It's got a lot of pressure. 
cost difference though. Mm -hmm. The Gemini is pretty spendy and heavy. Um, where your cuddle bug is going to be a little bit more. So it's kind of, it's hard to say. I tend to use my cuddle bug more, not because I don't like the Gemini, it's just quick and easy for me. Mm -hmm. So for videos, I have to plug in the Gemini, um, go through where if it's a video, I can just hand crank really quick. What are you doing? So you want to know what this was. Oh. But Linda wants to know if I've tried the Cricut Clear Sticker Sheets. Um... Yes and no. So I got them. I went to go print them. I was so excited. And my ink, something's wrong on in my inkjet printer. And the ink is coming out splotchy and... But your... Yeah. yeah. So Sean, who's a firm believer that I should be using the OEM. OEM, where I'm a firm believer in saying you can use not OEM, which basically is original equipment manufacturer. So he thinks that I... Since I have an Epson printer, I should only be using Epson cartridges, and that's my problem. I'm using a non-OEM because they're like five bucks, and he says that's my issue. Yeah. The, the best way, and I think Melody has one, where you get ones that have the uh, big reservoir tanks. But then that's non-OEM. So that's that, that your, make, whole poly, your whole thought process then is... Well, are, they make makers where that's how they come. They actually have their own... OEM. He tanks. is such a name brand person, it's not even funny. When we go to the grocery store, I'm like, Sean, it's green beans. And he's like, I'm getting, you know, the name brand. I'm like, we can get the store brand. He's like, it's different. It you is. can tell. You can tell. You can tell. If I did, I'm going to do, things that I'm gonna do a double blind study okay. and see if you can tell. Because I don't think you can tell. <laughs> I just can't so handle him right now. Looking at it. Uh, my website is actually creativeken.com. Long story. Mm, I, <laughs> I tried it. buying Ken's creations. It's not happening. He doesn't like spicy, so. Yeah, I made him redo my dinner. Yeah, last night was horrible. Bye, Kisha. All right, guys. Um, I just want to see. Yes, thank you, Melody. Creativeken.com. Thanks, Um, And it looks like that's it. So I will see you guys. Uh, we won't be back tomorrow because it's Friday. We will be back next week. We're going to be probably going to our um, new schedule of live on Monday and Wednesday, unless it's a mystery box or a unboxing like we did today of new product. And then it will be released on the day that it is released. Mm -hmm. um, make sure to check out all of the links down below. Support us. We love you. We adore you. And have an amazing night. Sorry we were a little Bye. late. Bye. Where's the finish on this thing? Oh, it's way up the corner. Yeah, it's that little X, oh, Sean. Right there. Yay. Then you have to hit end, Sean. Yes, I know.